is summoned formally in Israel because of the way the UK voted at the UN Security Council. But meanwhile, in the UK, an employee of the Israeli embassy is caught on film conspiring with a British civil servant to take down a senior minister in his own department, the chairman of the Foreign Affairs Select Committee, and other members of this house. The Israeli ambassador makes a couple of phone calls and all is forgiven and forgotten. Can the Foreign Secretary enlighten us on the thinking behind all this? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Well, I, well, I certainly can enlighten the house in the sense that uh, the, as, as my right honourable friend uh, points out, the Israeli ambassador made a very full apology uh, for what had taken place, and the, the gentleman in question, uh, the, the diplomat in question, uh, no longer seems to be a functionary of the embassy in, uh, in London. Uh, and so whatever, whatever he may exactly have been doing here, his cover can uh, be said to have been well and truly blown, and I think we should, I think we should consider the matter closed.